evening, ladies and gentlemen, boys and girls. Tonight, we're at the Sarnus Arena in Lowell, where the Gloucester Fishermen take on the Canton Bulldogs in the 2022 semifinals of the Varsity Hockey Playoff Action. Tonight's game is brought to you by the generous donations from the following businesses. Rockport Mortgage Cooperation. Cape Ann Oil. North Shore Builders. The youth hockey programs at GHS and the O'Malley School. Tarantino Concrete Construction. Clean Pro of Gloucester. Fallport Hearing Care. The Gloucester Fisherman Athletic Association. The Building Center of Gloucester and Essex. All the personnel and individual donations. And KPN Media Productions. If your company is interested in sponsoring continual high school sports coverage here on KPN Live, call Cape Ann Media Productions. That's Camp. Cape Ann Media Productions, 978-879-3226. All right, folks, here we are at the Sarnus Arena semifinals. Gloucester Fishermen during, uh, versus the Canton Bulldogs. And Canton comes into this game, folks, on a 21-game winning streak. Uh, the Fishermen come into this game. They're on a nine-game winning streak. So we got two pretty hot teams here coming into this game. I'm Phil Nicastro, Jim Capillo on the camera. And tonight, we're expecting a beautiful, excellent hockey game here tonight. Emerson Marshall is okay. Uh, I posted it a couple of times. He did not suffer a concussion the other night. So he's good to go for tonight's game. He hit uh, uh, a few stitches underneath the chin. So as of right now, the Fishermen look like a completely healthy team. Delaney is in the lineup tonight as well. And the excitement is just beginning here tonight. Last night, Tewksbury beat Duxbury in the other Division II semifinal uh, by a score of 3-2 to two in double overtime. So the winner of this game will advance to the Boston Garden on Sunday for the state championship game against Tewksbury. As both teams uh, surround their goaltender, probably have an introduction of the starting lineups, and then our national anthem, and we'll be ready for some exciting high school hockey here tonight. Semifinals, Division Two. The winner moves on to the championship game at the Boston Garden on Sunday. The PA announcer just took over. Yeah, here we go. That was a loud ovation. <laughs> And they're asking anyone who is uh, who did uh, a service in the United States military or is doing service to stand up right now. Yeah. 
Angel Bacanas. Brian Torkey. This is the Canton team. This down lineup. Eamon Kelly, captain, senior. Ryan Doucette, senior defenseman. Sean Connolly, another senior. Colin Davis, freshman goalie for the Canton Bulldogs. The head coach, Brian Schumann for the Canton team. And <laughs> the Gloucester fans are hearing loud and proud. Colby Joel. Jack Costanzo starting at center. Jack Delaney. Chris Lejacano. Robbie Schuster. Nick Tarantino starting goal. Here come the rest of the fishermen. And we're going to have our national anthem. All right, we're almost ready for the state semifinal. And like I said, the last night, the other state semifinal in D2 was played. Tewksbury beat Duxbury 3-2 in double overtime. Jack Costanzo, Colby Jewell, and Jack Delaney will be the the three forwards to start the game for the Fishermen. Schuster and Lojo will be the two starting defensemen. Canton going with the freshman goalie. All right. Almost time for puck drop. And we're underway. 
Can has it. Neutral zone. They throw it down. That's an ice. A quick ice. So Can gets the puck, and they quickly ice it to start the game. That took five seconds. <laughs> so the faceoff will be in the Can end. Jewel. Schuster puts it in the corner. Delaney goes after it. Goes behind the net. Costanzo's there. But uh, Canton comes away with it. Canton, a team. And like I said earlier, about a 21 game winning streak, and they ice it again. So, two quick icings for the Canton team. They will change up lines, and so will Gloucester. So, not much action on that first shift. Marshall comes out with Cunningham and Orlando. <clears throat> It looks like Cunningham's going to take the face off and not Marshall. Elms and Freddy's are on D. Can has it. Here come the Bulldogs. They bring it through the neutral zone. On net, save Tarantino. Long shot. Joe Orlando on, along the near boards. He gets it up to Marshall. Banks it off the boards. Cunningham has it. He's got Marshall. Here comes Emerson. He's in. Shot. Oh, no. He missed. Here comes Keaton on the, on the uh, counterattack. Gloucester had the first opportunity. Keaton comes up with it. Shot. Score! <laughs> Number 15. Brendan Picario. So Keaton comes out on top. 1-0 to start the game. And we're not even having played a minute yet. And they counter with the first line again. Gloss like Costanzo's line. Delaney goes in for checking. Jack Delaney. Jewel in there for checking. And Canton comes out with it. Maroney with it. Gives it to Costanzo. Jack. Up to Delaney. And they get it out. Jewel is offsides. One nothing can in the first minute of the game. Face off in the neutral zone. Third line comes out. Nick White, Drew White, and Aiden Donald. Drew White gives it to Freddy's. Baccaro with the goal. Puck goes in the uh, Cantons in. Nick White goes in with a forward check. He's a nice hip, Nick White. Throwing his body around. Lajacino keeps it in shot. Blocked. Kept in by Gloucester. Drew White with it. Shot in on goal. Tied up by the goaltender. Number one, Colin Davis. Second line comes out for Gloucester, the Marshall line. Marshall will take the face off this time. Emerson goes behind the net. Joe Orlando's there. And Canton goes behind the net. They get it up. Kept in by Lejacino. Gets it down to Marshall. Shot. Save. That was a short side opportunity for Marshall. Here comes Canton. They break it out. And here they come. They break it up to the neutral zone. They, they swing it wide. Lejacino uh, Le knocks him into the boards. Out front. And they get it back to the point. Shot. Score! Two to nothing, Canton. Just two and a half minutes into the game. Canton has a 2 nothing lead. Costanzo's line is out there. Jewel has it. Jewel over to Elms. Banks it off the boards. 
Gets it up to Costanzo. Jack makes a move. He gets knocked off the puck. Jules over there. Number 24. Here comes Costanzo. Makes a move. Delaney. Shot. Save. Number 24 with the goal. Sean Connolly. With the goal. Mar uh, Maroney behind his own net. And uh, what do we have? Icing? Looks like someone lost a glove. Is he calling a penalty? The penalty box door is open. Who's going in it is the question. And right now, it doesn't look like anybody is. And it's going to be Jade for Gloucester. Jade Cooper is in the penalty box. So Canton will have a power play. They're already up 2-0. Fishman need to kill this penalty. Settle down. Relax. Don't get too hung up in the moment. Schuster comes out. The Jacano comes out and Jewel. Costanzo. Those are the four skaters. They get it. They get it back to the point. Over to the far side. They set the power play up. Canton. Score, Canton. It's three to nothing. A power play goal. And this game is not off to a good start for the fishermen. Just three and a half minutes into this game, or four and a half minutes. Canton comes out on top. Three nothing. Off the face of the power play goal, that last one. Here comes Canton again on the counterattack. Broken up. Nice play. That looked like, uh, who was that? That was, uh, that was Lejacano. What a nice play. Here comes Gloucester. Counterattack. Cunningham. It's an uphill battle now for the Fishermen. They're down 3 nothing. Marshall. Makes a pass to Orlando. That was Sean Connolly again. That's his second goal of the night. Schuster throws it in. Marshall goes in for checking. Marshall along the boards with Drew White. Oh, front Cunningham shot. He fanned. Get the back. Shot goes wide. Drew White is there out front. And Lajacano didn't see it. Here comes Canton on a three on two. Nice hit by Lajacano. Shot. Save. They didn't get the puck. Shot. Score! Four to nothing. Eddie Gillis with that goal, number 25. And the fishermen put themselves in a big hole early. <laughs> yeah. Four to nothing, Canton. And this is the first time I think the Fishermen have been down by four goals all year. Off the face off. Costanzo with it. Makes a pass. Can't find anybody. Goes behind the net. Frady's is there. So before you can say this game has started, he's in all alone. Shot. Save Tarantino. Nick needed that one. Eddie Gillis was an unassisted goal. 4 nothing, Canton. Yeah, 
Long way to go in this game. Fishermen need to keep that in mind. Jewel can't control it. Can with it. They get it out of the zone. Costanzo with the four check. They come out. Takes it in the zone. Save. Here comes Jack. And it takes a big hit. Here comes the Bulldogs. Lejacino with it. Jack has it. Finds Carvelis. Carvelis puts it up to the neutral zone, but Canton's there. Costanto loses puck. Freddy's there. Costanto gets it up to Cavellis, but Canton keeps it in. Goes back down low. Freddy's is there. Nice move by Freddy's. Banks it up the boards. He gets it out of the zone. Cavellis. And the puck seemed to go into the boards, yeah. Canton leads it four to nothing, just over five minutes in this game, almost six minutes into this game. Puck goes in the, in the, the Canton end. Maroney has it at the neutral zone, banks it off the boards. And here comes Canton again. Pucks in the corner, out front. Oh, nice play by Marshall. Got there just in the nick of time. He makes a nice pass to Cunningham. There comes Brett. Gets it in the zone, behind the net. Cunningham goes after it. Gets it back behind the Canton net. Fisherman got to stop four checking a little harder. Here comes Canton. Broken up. That was Maroney with a nice play. And they get it outside the zone. They throw it in. Schuster's there. Makes it off the boards. Uh, Marshall can't corral it. Orlando up to uh, Marshall now. Marshall out front. Oh, he had Cunningham. He couldn't connect. Marshall goes in after it. Emerson takes a hit. And the puck goes to the other side. Frades keeps it in. Nice play by Ryan Frades. Marshall behind the net. Comes out front with it. And we got a high stick coming up on Gloucester. Uh, it's negated. Canton into the puck next. Here comes Canton. The Bulldogs lead 4 0. And what a hit by Aiden Donald. O'Leary is out there. Warren comes out. And he's got a fourth line out there right now. Elms. Over to O'Leary. O'Leary makes a pass. They can't get it out of the zone. O'Leary with it. And now they get it out. Nice pass by Canton. They get it over. They get up to the neutral zone. Here come the Bulldogs. Shot. Blocked by Elms. Warren goes after it. Over to Donald on the far side. He can't handle it. Shot. Save. Donald with it, and it comes outside the zone. Warren takes a spill. Here comes Canton again. Shot, save, Tarantino. Rebound. They couldn't get it, try to get it up to Costanzo. And they couldn't do it. Delaney's out there. Schuster goes after it. And Jack goes in after it. Here comes Costanzo. Makes a pass up to Delaney. Delaney doesn't see it. He was going off. O'Leary passes it. But Cunningham goes, knocks it in the zone. And the faceoff will be in the Canton zone. 4 nothing Bulldogs. And the Fishermen are off to a slow start today. Face off in the can and Fisherman win it. Cunningham there. Cunningham brings it out front. Rebound. 
Oh, they almost stepped it home. Not quite. Marshall comes out with it. Canton steals it. The Bulldogs. Here they come. They got one-on-one -on -one situation. Chop. Good play. Good play by Schuster. Schuster, uh, yeah. Lejacano gets it up to Marshall. Marshall has Cunningham. He couldn't get it to him. And they throw it back in. Fish made a changing lines. They're going to go get the puck. The Canton play is there first. Cunningham behind his own net. Here comes Brett. Looking for someone to pass to. Finds, no, he had Costanzo, but couldn't, couldn't connect. And ends up being an icing. 5.21 left, first period. 4 to nothing, Canton. Save. Jewel trying to get it out. Can't. Puck goes and then comes over to the near side. Warren with it. Warren's out there. He throws it in. And Canton goes after it. Warren for checking. Costanzo right behind him. Jack in the corner. Warren can't quite corral it. And Canton gets it out. Here come the Bulldogs. Nice pass and out of the zone. Maroney forces him wide. Frady's behind the net. Jewel. Colby Jewel makes a nice move. Jewel skates it out. No ice. He goes down in the zone. Aiden Donald in there. Aiden makes a hit. Schuster. Drew White's out there. The White brothers are out there with Aiden Donald. Shot high and wide over the net. Aiden Donald. And we got a penalty coming up on somebody. And it looks like the Gloucester team again. Robbie Schuster is going to go out for an interference. And the Fishermen need to kill this power play. Four minutes, 17 seconds remaining in the first period. 4 nothing, Canton. Face off in the Gloucester zone. Canton wins the draw. They get it out to the point. Shot blocked. Two minutes for interference for Schuster. Here comes Canton. They come out with it. Shot blocked. Save Tarantino. That was big. Face off in the Gloucester end. Off the draw, goes wide. Marshall, he clears it out. 4 nothing, Canton. They run a power play, too. Here come the Bulldogs again. Out front. Cleared out of there, but Canton maintains possession. Shot. Save Tarantino. And the Fisherman clear it. Emerson Marshall goes after it. Emerson makes a move. They're short-handed, so he's going to be careful. They can't give up a goal. Costanzo's there. Here comes Jack. Marshall with the puck inside the zone. It's being checked off. Jack has it. Makes a move. Loses possession. Here comes the Bulldogs. Save Nick Tarantino. Three oh four left first period. Face off in the Gloucester end. Derek Elms along the boards. Can has it along the boards. They come out with it. Nice pass at the point shot. Nick Tarantino with a nice save there. He needed that one. 2.54 left first period. Puck 
puck into the marshal on his own end. Emerson passes it up to Elms. Costanzo's there. Jack. And they need to kill this penalty of the fisherman big time. Derek Elms is there. And they get it out of there. 14 seconds left on the power play. Shot, save. That was a big save there. Here comes Kane again, shot. High and wide over the net, but it comes out to the point. Fishman it back to full strength. And Fisherman get it out, but Canton knocks it right back in. Two minutes left, first period. Pucks along the far board, stolen. Aiden Donald has it. And here comes Aiden. Stops, pivots, makes a pass. But here comes Canton. They steal the puck. Pucks along the near boards. Fishman trying to get it out. They do. It comes all the way out to the neutral zone. Canton has it, and they throw it in deep. And there goes Ryan Frady's after it. Warren takes a hit, but here comes Cunningham. Brett is broken up. Cunningham over to Schuster. Costanzo with it. We're down to one minute in the first period. Here comes Canton. Nice move there, but broken up. Oh, nice save. Tarantino, his last two saves have been beauties. Puck comes up high to the point. Canton shot, deflected wide. We're down to a half minute in the first period. It's broken up by Jewel. Can he get there? Jewel. He's got Joe Orlando in front. Oh, he couldn't get him the puck. Orlando goes in the four check. Joe, and he can't pin him there. Marshall goes in after it. 15 seconds left, first period. Here come the Bulldogs. Shot blocked. Blocked by Elms. Marshall, seven seconds left. Emerson can't do anything with it. The fishermen are going to be behind 4-0 after one period. So we'll be back with second period action in a few moments.
know what to do if you're stuck on the railroad crossing? Get out of your vehicle. If a train is not approaching, find the blue and white emergency notification system sign on the traffic signs at the crossing. For help, call the number on the sign and give them the crossing number so they know your location and can alert train traffic. Remember, find the blue and white to save your life. I was the lead gunner of the convoy that we had. While I was suppressing fire, I felt a flick on my upper biceps area. Right after my recovery, I had to find myself again and see what else I could do to continue my selfless service. Having an organization like the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes, putting me back into working with wounded troops helped me to process my injury. I'm Sergeant Mary Herrera and my alive date was November 8, 2003. For more information, visit saluteheroes.org. All right, everybody, welcome back. Second period action. Fisherman trailed it four to nothing. An extremely slow first two or three minutes for the Fisherman. Canton took full advantage of it. And I'm just going four times. This is a Canton team that's on a 21 game winning streak, and it showed in that first period. Well, let's see what the fishermen can do now. I mean, they're down 4 nothing. They got plenty of time in this game. I think one thing they need to remember, they're not going to score four goals on one shot. You got to get one first to start any kind of a comeback. Costanzo's out there. He's with Aiden Donald. And Jewel, I'm not sure what happened to Delaney. All right, getting ready for the second period. Off the draw. Keaton has it. Costanzo with it. Jack banks it off the boards. Cannon is in, has possession. And they bank it in, and the Giacchino over to Schuster. And it goes in behind the Gloucester net. Le Giacchino with it. Gets it up to the neutral zone, but Cannon has possession. Le Giacchino gets hung up behind the net. Costanzo over to Aiden Donald. Over to Colby Jewell. Colby drops it off to Jack. Jack shot. Oh, he gets gets uh, back checked. Out front. And it comes outside the zone. Fisherman on a line change. Frades goes after it. Here comes Ryan Frades. And he passes it up. Can has possession. Frades goes in after it. Out front, Joe Orlando breaks it up. Orlando in the corner. Costanzo comes out with it. Gets it up to Cunningham. But here comes Canton. Shot. Score! Number 21, A.J. Thomas makes it 5 to nothing, Canton. And the fishermen have not been in this position all year. Down by five goals. And there's still plenty of time left. Marshall. Over to Maroney. To Schuster. Back to Maroney. Joe Orlando. He's alone. Shot. Save. That shot came from outside. Near the blue line area. Colin Davis with the save. Faceoff will be in the can zone. Marshall will take the faceoff. 
Off the draw. Marshall goes behind the net. Out front. Kept in. Cunningham gives it to Marshall. Marshall behind the net. Gets popped off the puck. It just took 23 seconds for Canton to score in this period. It's 5 0. Puck goes in the Gloucester zone. Schuster's there. Over to Maroney. Maroney gets it up to Cunningham. Cunningham makes a nice pass uh, to Orlando. But Orlando went to go hit Marshall. Intercepted. Cunningham. Brett with it. Finds Marshall. Joe Orlando. He comes up with it. Joe. And just can't find anybody. Here comes Canton. Uh, that's an offsides. But they bring the puck back. They throw it in. Still offsides. Drew White's out there. Drew. Banks off the boards to load Joe. Kept in by Canton. Marshall. To O'Leary. Drew White's with him. O'Leary throws it in. And the Canton player falls down on his own. But Canton has possession of the puck. Here come the Bulldogs. And Drew White with it. Banks it off the boards, and it's going to be an ice. So the Fishermen get, uh, get called for an ice. Faceoff will go back down and in their zone. 11.33 left, second period, 5 nothing Canton. Costanzo wins the faceoff. He has the puck. Swings it around over to Jewel. Jewel loaded to Aiden Donald, and he can't handle it. It appears something may have happened to Jack Delaney again. Donald along the far boards trying to get it out, and they do. Jack, oh, he couldn't quite get it. Here come the Bulldogs. And they're playing like Bulldogs. Save. Donald gets it up to Costanzo. But the Canton defense is there. Donald passes it in to... And they can't do nothing with it. Here comes Canton. Shot. Goes wide. They keep it in along the far boards. Goes behind the net. Comes all the way to this side. Shoots the shot. Save Tarantino. Comes out front. Save Tarantino. Aiden Donald there. And he gets it out of the zone. Banks it off the boards. And Canton in possession. Puck goes in the zone. Schuster's there. Robbie Schuster overskates it. Comes out front. And Jack Costanzo has the puck. He's got Cunningham with him. Jack makes a nice move, but he takes a hit. Cunningham steals it. Cade Cooper's out there, number two, for the Fisherman. Marshall, Frades, but here comes Canton. They swing it around, they take it down low, and Lejacano throws his weight around, tied up by Tarantino. Nine and a half minutes left, second period. Five nothing Bulldogs. Faceoff will be in the Gloucester zone. Off the faceoff. Maroney comes up with it. 
It's a nice pass to uh, Nick White. Nick goes in, throws it in, he goes in after it. And but can't get to the other zone. Derek Elm steals it. White in there for checking. But can has possession of the puck. Here come the Bulldogs. Out to the point. Shot. Score! And it is six to nothing. Canton. Number 15, Brendan Picario. And I think we got a timeout for Gloucester. And we're going to have a goalie change. Here comes Riley DeHaan, I think. Yeah, it looks like he's, gonna, he's getting ready. With 8.55 left second period. 6 nothing, Canton. <laughs> so I think we're going to see Riley DeHaan after this after this timeout. Yeah, here comes Riley DeHaan. Yep. All right. Off the faceoff. Goes over to Jewel. Jewel to Cunningham. Cunningham throws it in the zone. And uh, uh, Marshall goes after it. Cunningham has it. Picurio with that goal again. Cunningham has it. Comes out front to Costanzo. Shot. Save. There was an the opportunity there for Gloucester. Jewel. But Canton has it. They throw it back in the zone. DeHaan gives it to Jewel. And it goes all the way down on the goalie, so there's no ice. And Can gets it out. And here come the Bulldogs. Shot. Goes wide. Kept in. Jules out there. And they keep it into the point. They get it to this side. Shot again. Save. DeHaan. Seven minutes. 53 seconds left. Second period. The scoreboard still says first period. Face off in the Gloucester end. Nick White is out there. Puck comes over to the uh, block by Drew White. With Giacchino. And we got a penalty coming up. It looks like it's going to be on Canton. Number 13. Brendan Torgi. So the Fisherman will have a power play. So Gloucester will have the uh, uh, Costanzo, Marshall, Cunningham. 
Out front to Costanzo. Shot goes wide. Orlando has it. Over to Cunningham. Shot. Deflected. Rebound. Score! Joe Orlando. Power play goal. 6-1. to one. So the comeback is on. <laughs> Power play goal, Joe Orlando. Can with it. Jewel. Marshall has it. Back over to Jewel. Up to Marshall. Over to Costanzo. Jack. He's in. Out front. Shots. Go! Brett Cunningham. It's six to two. All right, so Drew White comes out. Joe Orlando will go off. Cunningham. Shot. Blocked. Brent goes in after it. Orlando get the first goal. Still, here comes Marshall. Shot. Why high and wide. Uh, Canton puts it in the Gloucester zone. Jewel. Out front shot. Saved to Hahn. That was a beauty. But they were not alone. Shot saved to Hahn. All right. A little momentum. A little momentum. <laughs> yeah. Yep. Warren is out there. Brady Sala makes an appearance in this game. Okay, Brett Cunningham with the second goal. Out front. Get it out of there, guys. And they do. Carvelis is out there with Schuster, Lejacano, and Sala. They banked it off the boards. Sala. And Lejacano. Canton brings it back in. Schuster over to Lejacano. Chris takes a hit, but it goes in the zone. Fisherman are on a line change. Lejacano goes in the behind his own net. Out front, blocked. Costanzo behind his own net, trying to come up with it, but Canton does. They make a pass. And they're behind their own net, looking for a pass. And comes out with it, Costanzo. Jack, what a nice move there. Pass up to Joe Orlando. Orlando to Marshall. Marshall. Makes a pass to Joe Orlando. Joe gets it in the zone. Canton has it behind their own net. Stole, oh, almost stolen there, but here comes Canton. Jewel. Shot. Saved to Hahn. Okay, fourth, four and a half minutes remaining. Second period. Six to two, Canton. Nick White comes out. They need another player, ref. All right. Here comes Derek Elms. Go, 
O'Leary will take the face off. Puck goes behind the Gloucester net. Derek Elms in there, battling away. Shoes is back there. Goes behind the Gloucester net again, but Ken is there. Schuster, Elms. They get it. It's kept in by uh, by Canton. And here comes O'Leary. Gets it to Donald. And they get it in the zone. But Canton has possession. And here come the Bulldogs. Shot. DeHaan makes a save. 6-2. to 3.55 left. Second period. Costanza won the draw. They get it. No, nope, kept in by Canton. Goes behind the Gloucester net. Jewel is there. Jewel, Cunningham, Orlando. Orlando finds Costanza. Here comes Jack. Gets rubbed off the puck. Marshall steals it. Shot. Short handed, uh, short side attempt. And here comes Canton. They break out. Joe Orlando blocks the pass. And Keaton throws it right back in, but Jewel blocks it. And uh, offsides. Offsides, Keaton. 3.15 left, second period. Jade Cooper is out there with Nick White and Warren. Here comes Canton. They come through the neutral zone. They gain the blue line. Nice play, but they can't get it out. Shot. Save to Han. Another beauty. DeHaan has had to make a couple since he's been in the game. Cooper for checking. Warren is out there. Shot. Saved to Han. Shoots it behind the net. Out front. They get it to the point. Shot. Save. To Han. Two thirty-five left, second period. Costanzo is out there. Oh, come on. No tripping on there. Out front. And he fanned on it. I put a hook. Now we got one. And Gloucester get the power play again. With 2.26 remaining. Uh, number nine for Canton. Jack to Glamo. So let's see what the Fisherman Power Play can do again. They got one goal already. And they can't keep it in. It goes all the way down behind to Han. Cunningham there. And Costanzo gets it, and they'll start the power play. Here comes Jack. Who takes it in the zone. He gets broken up. Kept in by Joe Orlando. Over to Jewel. Jewel. Shot. Deflected. Goes wide. Cunningham has it. Miss Marshall shot. Just goes wide. Hooking penalty. Out front. Marshall. Shot. Oh, off the post. Oh. Shot again, blocked. They still got a well over a minute to go in the power play. 110. Here comes Marshall. Emerson finds Costanzo. Jack just puts it in the zone. They go, they go after it. Cunningham. Uh, Orlando with it. Over to Cunningham. 
Out front to Orlando. And they just get it out of there. Oh. Off the post, Marshall. That would have been their chance right there. Costanzo makes a pass. Marshall, shot, deflected out of play. 101 left in the period. 36 seconds left on their power play. But I think the faceoff is going to come outside the zone. No, inside. Inside. Yeah. Marshall hit the post. 101 left in the period. Costanzo wins the faceoff. Marshall with it. Shot. Save. Cunningham. Behind the net. Go back over to Cunningham. Shot. Oh, save again. Nobody was there to knock it home for Gloucester. 17 seconds left on the power play. 40 seconds left on the period. Fishman still have time to get a goal here. Masha with the move. Peels back. And keep it in. Oh. Couldn't keep it in. Jewel has it. Cunningham. Marshall. Cunningham. Shot. Save. Penalty time is up. Costanzo keeps it in. He makes a move. Jack. Oh. oh. Cunningham. Shot. Just goes wide. They had a couple of chances there. Costanzo with it. He takes a hit. And that's the period. After two periods of play, the Canton Bulldogs six, the Gloucester Fishermen two. We'll be back with third period action. know what to do if you're stuck on the railroad crossing? Get out of your vehicle. If a train is not approaching, find the blue and white emergency notification system sign on the traffic signs at the crossing. For help, call the number on the sign and give them the crossing number so they know your location and can alert train traffic. Remember, find the blue and white to save your life. I was the lead gunner of the convoy that we had. While I was suppressing fire, I felt a flick on my upper bicep area. Right after my recovery, I had to find myself again and see what else I could do to continue my selfless service. 
having an organization like the Coalition to Salute America's Heroes, putting me back into working with wounded troops helped me to process my injury. I'm Sergeant Mary Herrera and my alive date was November 8th, 2003. For more information, visit saluteheroes.org. All right, everybody, welcome back. I'm Phil Nick Castro, Jim Capillo on the camera. As the fishermen take the ice for the third period, they trail it six to two. The second half of that second period, the fishermen played much better. Um, they got two goals. They hit a couple of posts as well. Uh, it could very easily be 6-4 right now. But it's not. It's six to two as we start the third period. Yeah, here comes Canton. Yeah, and their fans are having a jolly good time right now, as they should be. There's been several occasions this year where the fishermen have ripped off three or four goals in a short period of time, and they're going to have to get that magic back now. Of course, the opponent is a very strong one as well, so that's going to be tough to do. So Marshall's line. Uh, Emerson Marshall's line will start with Joe Orlando and Cunningham. Jewel and, oh, Costanza was out there on defense as well. So he's got the five forward line going for Gloucester. So we're almost on the way. Third period action. Here we go. Puck is dropped. Cunningham tries to get it in, but he can't. Jack has it. Costanzo. Here comes Jack. He's got Cunningham with him. Shot. High and wide. Comes out. Orlando goes behind the net. But Canton has it. The Bulldogs make a pass. Stolen by Marshall. He spins. Orlando goes after it. Gets it out to Costanzo. Shot blocked. Rebound. And they, they couldn't keep it in. Here comes Canton. And it goes in the zone. Canton has it out front. Comes up high. My, uh, Canton with it. Shot. Deflected wide. And here comes Joe Orlando. Makes a pass. To Cunningham. He comes outside the zone. Jewel is there. Jewel. Looks for Nick White, but Nick couldn't contain it. And Jewel throwing his weight around. And here comes Costanzo. Takes it up the middle. Makes a nice move. Jack. He's in. He's in. Oh, he couldn't make the move. He made a great play to get in, but he couldn't make that last move. Nick White. Over to Cunningham. Over to Marshall. Out front. It's blocked. Out front. Costanzo has it. Shot goes in wide. Marshall has it. It's in the corner. Broken up. And here comes Canton. They get it out of the zone. But Jack has it. Costanzo. He's looking for Marshall. Marshall down low. And he gets... And what do we got? The referee is calling a penalty. His arm is up. No, I don't think he's calling anything. Okay. So the faceoff will be in the uh, Canton zone.
Well, there is going to be a penalty. Okay. There is a penalty. Number 21 on Canton. A.J. Thomas. And he tried to sneak off into the bench, too. So the fisherman will have a power play. So Warren O'Leary is out there with Donald, Schuster, and Freddy's to start the power play. <clears throat> Warren. Face off. Comes out to Schuster. Keeps it in Schuster. The out front. Oh, almost went in. That was a shot by uh, Aiden Donald. But the puck comes outside the zone. And the fishermen are going to make a quick change. And Freddy's with it. Gives it to Marshall. Emerson. Two minutes for hooking. And the fishermen got to get going. Costanzo has it. Here comes Jack. Gains the blue line. Shot deflected wide. Cunningham with it. Costanzo there. Cunningham gets knocked down. Puck goes all the way around. Can Jewel keep it in? No. Fisherman got plenty of time in the power play. 110. Colby Jewel with it. And the Canton team was just waiting for him. They're lined up on the blue line. Jewel goes in after it. Comes up with it. Orlando there. Cunningham. Uh, Brent has it. Out front to Marshall. Took a shot. Went wide. Orlando. Back down to Cunningham. Out front. Knocked away by the goalie. Jack Costanzo has it. Jack. Costanzo shot. Save. Rebound. Keaton knocks it out. And a penalty coming up on Emerson Marshall. Interference. Well, you know, Emerson, he was hustling after the puck. Him and a Canton player. And they're going to get Emerson for interference. Well, now we're going to have some four on four hockey. For 29 seconds. And then Canton will go on the power play. Schuster over to Cunningham. Brent, he loses it. Shot blocked by Schuster. Here comes Jack. For one four. Costanzo. Gets knocked off the puck. Joel uh, Cunningham over to Lejacano. Shot deflected. Schuster shot down low to Cunningham. Out front, Costanzo takes it behind the net. Cunningham over to Jack. Costanzo makes another move. Cunningham with it. No, he doesn't have it. Uh, and here comes Canton. Three on one. Shot goes wide. They're on the power play now, Canton. Jewel gets it out. And here come the Bulldogs. They swing it back. They're on the power play. They got 53 seconds left on it. 10-18 left in the game. Canton. Swing it back down low. Goes over to the other side. 39 seconds on their power play. Out front. Uh, picked off. Saved DeHaan, and there was a hit there, and DeHaan is hurting. His helmet come off. He was, a player was shoved into him. I don't think we're going to have a penalty. Yeah, I think we are. Okay, no penalty. All right. And Jack comes out, but they won't let him. Cunningham comes out.
So David uh, Colby Jewell will uh, take the face off. Col uh, Jewell. Canton keeps it in. Stolen by Jewell. 16 seconds on their power play. Broken up by uh, Cunningham. And here comes Brett Cunningham. He's got Jewell with a 2 on 1. Cunningham. Oh! Save! Oh, we got some pushing and shoving going on now. Frustrations by the fishermen, maybe. But it was the Canton goalie who was the one who got a little upset. Cunningham's going to the box. And no one going in the box for Canton. Let's see. There's got to be somebody. And the, the can box is open. And yeah, they, okay, there goes a play, a play. Number 29 is going in. Uh, Pat Drewy. So. Can has five players out there. Costanzo takes a hit. Here comes Ken. Marshall comes out of the box. Shot. Deflected. Save. Score. No. Off the post. I thought for sure that went in. Save to Hahn. Yeah. So Gloucester has a guy in the penalty box. So doesn't uh, Canton. Yeah, okay. It's a five on five situation, though. Off the face off. Comes back out high to Canton. Well, the penalty was on the goaltender. Yeah, okay. The goaltender and Brent Cunningham got penalties. And that's what it should have been. Pucks behind. Out front. Save. Rebound. Over the net. Comes out front. And Canton keeps it in. Shot. Blocked. And Marshall, if he can get there, he can't. And Marshall just nailed the goalie. And he's going out again. So Emerson is going out. So now Gloss has to kill a penalty. And when he's down by four goals, that's not a good position to be in. All right, Jack wins the faceoff. And he gets hooked. No call there. And Aiden Donald gets it out of the zone. Two minutes for goaltender interference. On Marshall. Maroney gets it out of there. Jack goes after it. And Costanzo gets it out. Here comes Canton. They're on the power play. It comes outside the line. And Aiden Donald took a spill. 
Here comes Kent, and they take it back in. Oh, they fan on the shot. Rebound. Save to Hahn. Over to the point. Shot deflected wide. Shot in the short side. Out front. They get it back to the point. Shot deflected wide. Can on a power play. They got the puck. Shot. Saved to Hahn. Riley DeHaan has played well since entering this game. And then we got more penalties coming up now. No, I guess they don't. Nope. Forty-nine seconds remaining on the Marshall penalty. Nick White is out there. Can wins the face-off shot. Goes wide. Behind the net. Here comes Canton. They try to stuff it in, but they can't. 7.05 left. And the puck's up in the air. Comes down. Canton has it. Shot goes wide. Nick White is there. Nick White banks it off the boards and gets it out. 20 seconds left on the power play. 6.46 left in the game. Here comes Canton. They get it up high. Stolen by Nick White with a nice play. And Nick gets it out of there. Now they can get a line change. That just about does it on the Canton power play. And Canton, they have control. And it comes out to Jewel. Marshall's penalty is over. Marshall with it. Costanzo's out there. Marshall to Costanzo. He gets broken up at the last second. Schuster throws it in behind the net. Cunningham has it. Cunningham to, to uh, Marshall. Out front to Jewel. Jewel shot blocked. Jewel. He's working it. Marshall has it. Out front. Marshall swings it around, gets it out to Jewel. Jewel can't, he does keep it in. Costanzo has it. And it's stolen. And Jack gets back just in the nick of time. Here comes Costanzo. Makes another move. Jack. Shot. Save. Save Colin Davis. The freshman goaltender. 525 left. Warren comes out with O'Leary and Carvelis. And Can has possession. Broken up. Broken up by O'Leary. Elms has it. Up to Carvelis. Here come the Bulldogs. Shot goes wide. And here comes Gloucester where they can't maintain possession. And Canton does. Freddy's breaks up the play. Back out to the point. Shot saved to Hahn. O'Leary. Carvelis steals it. What a good play by Chris Carvelis. He dives after it. Here comes Canton. Puck goes in the zone. Freddy's is there. Uh, Joe Orlando. Makes a pass over to Cunningham. Cunningham brings the, puts it in the zone. No ice. And that's going to be an icing on Canton. Yes. Okay. So the puck will go down to the can end of the zone with 4.05 left in this game.
Can has the puck. Make a nice pass, but they can't contain it. Warren. No, it's not Warren. It was Cunningham. I'm sorry. Cunningham. Puck goes in the net, uh, behind the net. Joe Orlando has it. And Costanzo comes out with it. Here comes Jack. And makes a pass up. Marshall to Cunningham. Cunningham puts it in the zone. And here comes Canton. They work it out nicely. Nice hit by Jewell. Here comes Canton in all alone. Shot. Save to Hahn. Riley DeHaan has played well since he's come in this game. Here comes Marshall. Emerson has possession, gives it to Costanzo. Jack peels back. Back to Marshall. Shot goes up in the air. That's a hand pass, but Gloss is there. Jewel behind the net, over the, and they can't connect. And uh, they get it out of the zone in two minutes, 50 seconds remaining. DeHaan passes it over. O'Leary gets it up to Donald. 2.40 remaining in the game. And, folks, I'm afraid this fantastic season is coming to a close. Drew White is out there. Drew battling in the corner. Here comes Canton. They get it in his own. Broken up by Schuster. 2.14 left in the game. Drew White with it. Lejacano has it. Over to Tim, uh, over to Nick White. We're down we're under two minutes. And folks, let's not forget. The fantastic season this team has had this year. Here comes Drew White. 140 left in the season for the Fisherman. Um, I can't remember a better season than this, Jim. This was a fabulous season. It just didn't work out for him today. A slow start. Hurt them bad today. They gave up four goals in the first three minutes of the game. And that is tough to come back from. Face off will come outside the zone. One seventeen left. Colby Jewell goes after it. And he gets tripped. There's a penalty coming up on Canton. Number 22. Is going to go out. So the Fishman will end to play the last minute nine on the power play. Sam Carlino. Is going to go out for a trip. And some of the fans are headed to the exits. Jack wins the face off. Over to Jewel. Jewel gets it in. Joe Orlando in the corner. Uh, Orlando. One minute left. Marshall with it. Shot in. Deflected wide. Shot score. Jack Costanzo puts it in. Makes it six to three. Short-handed uh, power play goal. I'm sorry, power play goal for Jack. With 54 seconds remaining. Canton has it. Washington, 
Orlando with the puck. We're in the final minute. Orlando going to assist. And here comes Jack again. Jack gets shoved off the puck. And we got another penalty coming up. On who, Gloucester? Uh, there's a Canton player injured on the ice. But you're right, though. It did look like the referee was calling a penalty. He had his arm up. 24 seconds left. Despite the outcome today, let's not forget the, the tremendous season this team had. It was one of the great regular seasons of all time. Every game was just spectacular. And those three home state tournament games that they played was phenomenal. Bringing the community together like that. Filling the rink again. Um, I'm not trying to put a eulogy on the season, Jim, but um, it's over tonight. And what a great season it was. It really was. One for the memory books. Yeah, it looks like that kid is really hurt. I mean, they're helping him up. Ooh, he looks really hurt. His knee, yeah. So he's being helped. Another tremendous season by Jack Costanzo and Emerson Marshall. Um, you know, that big win against BC High. All sorts of highlights about this season. And just a great season by the Fisherman hockey team this year. Puck goes in the corner. Orlando. Canton comes up with it. Marshall throws his, hit, uh, throws his weight around. Jack goes after it. Ten seconds. Five seconds. And Canton is going to go on to the championship game. And the fishermen go hug the goalie. Riley DeHaan. They're also over there uh, consoling Nick Tarantino as well. And look at look at him. Look at the fishermen. And they're all hugging each other down there. And we'll see the handshake. Gloucester ended up with 25 shots on goal. Yeah, there's no question. A fantastic season for Gloucester this year. Um, good luck to Canton Sunday against Tewksbury. We'll watch the handshake. And uh, after that, we'll wrap it up, Jim, after the handshake. What a season, Jim. Wasn't this fun? Fun season. It really was. And the, the team is shaking hands on this coach, Gary, with Matt Meniz. And this, uh, Shimataro, uh, the other coach, shaking hands. Well, they're going to have to a slow start today. They gave up four goals the first three minutes of the game. And... That's tough to come. That's tough to come back from. And then you see the Canton team recognizing their fans. What a great year! It was a great year. 
but just ended badly here today, that's all. A lot to look forward to coming up in the near future with this team. What a season that came to an end today, that's all you can say. But once again, I want to thank Jim Capillo, Brian LaFada, numerous other people that were involved this year. Lisa Olson, that's right, good with, with the basketball. We got the spring sports coming up. We'll see what happens with that. John Russ again. I'm Phil Nicastro. Until next time, for Gloucester High School Hockey. See you later, everybody.